Okay guys, today we are back with you in the F-15C. Uh, this is going to be a tutorial for my guys in the 90th Fighter Squadron trying to complete their air-to-air -air refueling uh, evaluation. And I've done a couple of air-to-air -air refueling uh, videos with you already. However, I've discovered a couple of things and I'm, uh, I never claim to be perfect. I'm recognizing that I was doing a uh, few things wrong so I want to make some corrections and then also show you the uh, results of those corrections so here we are we are half a mile behind the tanker let's go left control R refill this door open refill door is open let's do a quick fuel check we're at 7.9 so roughly 8,000 pounds of fuel our evaluation standard is to be able to put 2,000 pounds of fuel in the aircraft within five minutes of the aircraft calling ready contract, ready contact, excuse me. With that said, let's go ahead and call the taker, let them know we're ready. Okay, so it's at 20,000 feet, 230 knots, he's saying. So, we're closing in. Um, with that said, again, I've got a couple of previous videos. On the last video I made, and on the other one as well, I'm typically trying to set the F-15 up uh, on the right side of the KC-135's fuselage. I'm trying to point the nose down where the right wing uh, meets with the uh, body of the aircraft. And I put a little thought into that and I was kind of like, okay, why do I need to be that far wide and have the boom operator have to push his boom all the way to his left or our right? Um, so with that said, I think what we're going to do today is just try to go right down the middle. Maybe a little bit to the right because the door is to our left, but I don't think it should make that much of a difference. Um, we are setting up the altitude the same. We want the uh, the horizon line pretty much down the middle of the extended portion, the extendable portion of the boom. And we're just going to come forward, and we're going to use that yellow stripe down the middle of the aircraft to uh, to be our reference for formation flying once we get a little bit closer. Okay, so again, the number two and three engines are within the uh, the airspeed and altitude tapes in our HUD. We're not going to worry about that. We're going to get as close as we possibly can. Let's see. Let's see if this works. Again, we're going to play the game today. A little experimenting. All right, let's call ready contact. just a little bit maybe for a little more I don't know I would sort of imagine that would have worked For a little more. Not sure what's going on right now. So 
So maybe I do need that to be out of the fuselage, I guess. I don't know. Because she's definitely not hooking up with me. Huh, that is interesting. Contact. You're taking fuel. Okay, so I guess when I slide a little bit to the right, it's hooking up for some reason. Okay, so never mind. I thought I could just fly right down the middle. That ain't cutting it. So I guess you have to do you you do have to be kind of down the fuselage. I'm sure that's enough gas, but we'll take it to the limit. So again, uh, I guess you do have to be to the right side as opposed to the left side or down the middle. Um, this is something you got to practice, to be honest. This is not uh, something I can just do once and then three months later expect to be able to do it, which is why I'm kind of showing you guys. All right, so I went from 18,000 to 13,000. That's plenty. <sighs> I'll let them know we're done. Let's close our fuel cap. Love control R. Cap is closed. All right, with that said, hopefully that helped a little bit. Um, thought we had something new, didn't work, but uh, you know, hope it helped anyway. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. See you for the next one.